Yes, Jake the Snake Roberts is still taller than me. It is December 23rd, 2019. We're here in South Philly, 2300 Arena at the Icons of Wrestling Collectors Fest. And uh, Thanksgiving time is, uh, has come around, but we're getting close once again. I broke some news many years ago. We're getting close to January. And several years ago, you broke the news to me that you were in training for the Royal Rumble. Wow. I feel wonderful. I had shoulder surgery, so it's got to rehab a little bit more. But I'm going to give you a little, a little secret that I'm going to let out right now just for you, Bill. Now, they're all going to... My here. plan, yep. my plan, whether they like it or not, is to be in the Royal Rumble next year. Is that right? I want to do it. I already want to do it, but I want to win that son of a bitch. Yeah. And it didn't happen. Now, the Royal Rumble, as you know, takes place in 2020 in January. Yeah. What do you want to tell them? It's not going to happen. Oh. You know, as much as I really, really, really desire to be in there, it's just not going to happen. I have to, I have to remember something. You know, that my sobriety is the most important thing in the world. And if I was to get in there, it would probably send me back to drinking because I'd be disgusted um, at my performance because I wouldn't be able to, to be the Jake that I was, you know? And uh, that to me means everything because you're going to be out there in front of your fans. You don't want to let them down by going out and giving a subpar yeah, performance. There are a lot of guys that do that. I know, man. And I, I, I just don't want to do it, man. I don't want to do it. And uh, again, my sobriety is the most important thing because that keeps the world going round, man. Well, me. one of the things that uh, I know you've been doing, and you're amping this up, I see a lot of dates, is you're doing your, your one-man show. I don't yeah. actually call it a comedy show no. because you're doing nostalgic things about your career and it's interactive with the fans. I just, uh, you know, I remember all those great moments, and I'm so fortunate to have fans that come up to me and they'll say something, and for some reason it ticks something in my brain, and I remember another story. But I just give them the back, back room stories, the locker room stories, the road stories, the strip joint stories, the snake stories, the stuff that you couldn't talk about. You know, this is uh, definitely X-rated. Oh, yeah. It should be. But uh, if you're over 18, but that's Jake come the on. Snake Roberts. You've I've always, always been, been X-rated. Right. So I'm going uh, for a little preview. Uh, can I ask you to tell us a quick uh, anecdote about uh, Andre the Giant? You know Andre, man, he's a big devil, brother. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be in the ring with him, except for one night, man. He he crushed me in the corner as he could do at any time. I went down. And he went to do a squat on me, and he had the ropes, but his hand slipped off the ropes, and his weight came down and crushed me. Oh. And as I'm trying to see if I'm going to breathe again, I feel my shoulder vibrating. I mean, what the hell is that? Really? And then I think, well, man, I'm having a heart attack, man. I think I'm having a heart attack. But I wasn't. And unfortunately, what was happening, the referee walked over and said, Andre, why are you laughing? Because you never laugh in the ring. I know. He says, I'm farting. And that's the reason my shoulder was vibrating, because he was that's... sitting on me and farting, and Giants fart for an extremely long period of time. I know when he finally got off of me, I looked at my shoulder, and there was like a wine stain. It looked like a birthmark. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> Andre loved his wine, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. And I loved him, too. Yes. So I love to do this with people who were schooled on their own in the business. Alex, would you come in real tight? Tonight, Jake Roberts here in Philadelphia, the Jake Roberts of his prime, you are going to be wrestling Macho Man Randy Savage. Would you look into the camera and tell us what you're planning to do to him? Macho Man, it's real simple. You play the game extremely well. You do a lot of it extremely well, better than most. But the only problem is this, I don't play games. Bill After with Jake the Snake Roberts. And Jake, as you know, I always end my interviews with the same question because I've been around for over 50 years and I still can't figure this out. Is, uh, yeah, is, um, is wrestling fixed? 
I had asked you that. I didn't know it was broken. What happened? Oh. Bill After with Jake the Snake Roberts. Did, we'll see. Oh, you're broken. Wait, wait, where can people find no, you? It's not. It's broke. Wait a minute. Where can people find you on social media? He's going around. Where? Jake the Snake Roberts with Bill After right here at Icons of Wrestling in South Philly. See you at the matches.